Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Siti Nur Soleha binti Rozainal and I am from SBH3 and this is an assignment for animal health subject. In this video, I will share about botulism disease in animals. We will talk about introduction of botulism, which is what is botulism, the etiology, clinical signs which is the symptoms, the diagnostic, the prevention and control, the geographical distribution, and the public health risks. Botulism, a disease by Clostridium botulinum. What is botulism? Botulism is a disease by toxin from Clostridium botulinum called botulinum toxin. Clostridia are obligate and anaerobes so where oxygen is toxic to them. In nature, they thrive in deep and compact soil. They will feel stress because of fresh air in the soil. When become stress, they produce pores that is metabolically inert and extremely resilient to the environment. When environmental conditions improve, spores are able to sprout into fully fledged clostridia. Spores germinate in rotting carcasses of decaying organic material. Clostridium botulinum is a gram-positive bacteria and has bacillus shape when observed under the microscope. How botulism happen? Nerve that use the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, the chemical used for muscle control and cause the muscle to contract, cannot send signal to brain. When botulinum toxin is consumed, it will bind specifically to the nerves. Neuron takes in the botulinum toxin by endocytosis, creating a small vesicle and floats between the neuron's cytoplasm. The toxins activate and slips out of the vesicle and start to cleave snare proteins. When snare protein is cleaved by the toxin, there is no release of acetylcholine, so no signal sent out by the affected nerves and finally, muscle completely relaxed and flexed. The toxins has inhibit the muscle contraction. The toxin has eight distinct types A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H and vary in toxicity. The function of SNES protein is it tagging the vesicle containing acetylcholine to the plasma membrane to release into the synapse and send signal transmit to the muscle. The etiology of botulism The consume of animal carcasses, rotting organic material, Poorly prepared silage. Sign usually seen within two to six days after eating contaminated material. If they consume high doses of toxin, they can only survive 12 to 24 hours. For low doses of toxin, they can survive 7 to 20 days. If heard outbreak happen, they can survive within the first week or can continue up to three weeks. The clinical signs of botulism is 1. Hind limb, where the weakness of progressing to paralysis, collapse and death. Other signs of botulism is paralysis of face, jaw and tongue muscle, flexed paralysis of tail, constipation, muscular weakness, paralysis and uncoordinated stumbling and knuckling when walking. The diagnostic of botulism the serum analysis for botulinum toxin will be taken, but growing clostridium in culture are really successful because anaerobes are difficult to grow in a lab setting. How to prevent botulism? Vaccine is available. We can vaccine our animals by immunization of cattle with type C and D. The toxoid has proved successful in South Africa and Australia. Number 2. Diet Fat balanced diets to minimize chewing of bones. Number 3. Carcasses We should not allow our animals to eat other animal carcasses because botulinum toxins are produced in animal carcasses. Number 4. Silage Remove decaying grass or spoil silage from animal's cage or bund. Treatments for botulism Number 1. Assist in breathing Number 2. Antitoxin injection Antitoxin has two types. One is trivalent, two is heptavalent. 
trevalent is for toxin A, B and E, while heptavalent for toxin A, B, C, D, E, F and G. These two types of antitoxin is to catch free toxin molecules in bloodstream before they damage the neuronal proteins. Number 3. Vaccination Program for the Animals Geographical Distribution of Botulism Botulism occurs worldwide. In North America, the Type A is predominant west of Missouri River, for Type B most common on its east. In Europe, see Argentinian toxin reported from human. The predominant toxin types can differ between areas. In South America, they get from soil samples. For type E in northern region that is associated with coastal areas and other aquatic environment. Public health risks for botulism disease. Botulism disease is a not contagious disease. There is no direct transmission from infected animals to healthy animals and humans. It is very rare disease in humans. Botulism disease is a foodborne disease. Botulism disease happens because of uncooked or processed with milk heat treatments, or the food is stored for long periods at low temperature.